Good morning, everybody. Well, actually, it's afternoon. Let's get this in the right light. Um, I hope you're all well. This is what's today. Gosh, what's today? Famous last words Wednesday, and it was only just Sunday yesterday. Well, that's how it feels to me. Anyway, I've been up early this morning, up dressed by nine o'clock, out walking home, done some jobs, read my emails. Yeah, so I'm trying to sort of get back into that efficient um, pre work or going to work mode, which I'm not looking forward to, but we won't say anything about that quietly. Anyway, today's story is Thelma the Unicorn, one of my favourites. You can see this has been taken out lots of times. I've got a few copies at Wanaka Library now because it's such a good book, a book about feeling good about who you are right now. Not looking at the person next to you and wishing you were them, but just being happy with how you are about you right now. So, Thelma the Unicorn. And there's a bit of a thing, thing on worldwide at the moment about unicorns. I don't know why, because you know they're not real, don't you? Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. I love that word, forlorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said... You're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I'm not. And that was when she saw it. A carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work. Who knows? Um, that's the funniest looking unicorn I ever saw. Well, as she did, a truck, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief! Is that a uniform? unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? You know what's going to happen next, don't you? Very predictable. Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud. And so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Would you really want to be famous? If you think about what it would be like to be famous walking down the street of Wanaka and everyone knows you. So it's like being the librarian. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get her autograph. In fact, they'd chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. No one's asked me for my autograph yet. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she stopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. By the way, I don't mind my gorgeous little monkeys from one of the school coming up and saying hello and some were not her fans at all no some were really mean and some just did the meanest things you'd really ever seen i don't like this page at all unicorns are dumb i don't like that it's called bullying so one dark night she felt quite sad that famous little pony she said i thought that i would feel great but all i Feel is lonely. And so with that she changed her mind. This lonely unicorn, she cleared off all her sparkles and she ditched her magic horn. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. She thought how nice that it would be. To see her lovely Otis. Look at these silly people. Look, marry me, Thelma. 
They were only interested in her when she was famous. Help me be a unicorn. See, there's someone else that wants to be a unicorn as well. So it's not, no fun wanting to be something you're not. So here we go. Here she's back with Otis. And when he asked about her trip beneath their favourite tree, she simply said, oh, it was fun. But I'd rather just be me. I'm all about us just being who we are and not trying to be like anybody else. It's really, really important. And I tell you this many times in the library. You are the only person, the only special person like you in the whole wide world. No one else is like you. And there's no point in trying to be like anyone else because then you wouldn't be you. So you concentrate on all the special qualities that you've got and the things that make you you. You come and tell me all about them when I see you back at school, hopefully next week, maybe. Anyway, tomorrow I will read you the next, the second one of Thelma the Unicorn. Okay, so I hope you have a lovely afternoon. I hope you're doing lots of creative things, be it helping mum cake, uh, bake cakes or helping with dinner or doing drawing, reading, even doing some Minecraft's creative. Anyway, you have a lovely afternoon. Keep sending me all your lovely emails and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.